Hello guys, Schmoomer here. I get this question a lot. How do I add some games to the build? I have the build and uh, it's great, everything's good, but you know what, there's a couple games that I have in my personal collection that I want to add on there, but I don't want to screw anything up. Um, I'm going to scrape, I want to scrape so that I have the video snaps and I have the mix art and all that stuff, but can I use the, the scraper that's built into the build? without screwing anything up and blah 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 the answer the short answer is no don't do that um, I've I've had builds where I made one simple mistake before and it undid a lot of work and yeah so I'm gonna show you the way that I do it when I'm putting together a Schmoomer's image and the same method will apply to whatever it is that you want to do so uh, this video assumes a couple things okay the first thing it's going to assume that you already have screen scrapers um, scraper tool installed on your PC you have to have your uh, your login set up with screen scraper fr and you've already verified your account and all that so all that stuff is already done this video assumes that you're ready to do this stuff so let's do this. Okay, when you're using Scraper, um, the first thing, if you're using a Schmoomer's build, um, all the box art and, and that stuff is in a folder called Mix Art, and the video previews are in a folder called Snap. Okay, that is not the way this software defaults things. It defaults things to a, uh, first it gives you a media and then images and then media and videos okay so first thing you want to do is you want to click on this right here all systems and you want to click the media tab up here highlight the four images mix and then you want to change what it says after this slash in, in which case it usually will say um, you know media slash images just change that to mix art and then you click on the video preview uh, and then change that to snap that way you won't have to edit the game list file uh, before you transfer things over to the build okay um, when you start this program there will be a couple other things in here too um, I just if you, if you don't want it you just click on the thing like I've done here and you can hit this minus button and it will delete it okay so I've already got mine set up the way I like it so um, all right now Look in here, we got all these cool games on the build, but man, we do not have the adventures of Dr. Frank. And man, how could you leave that game off of there? Okay, so we're not going to leave anyone behind. We're going to put it on there. So, I have the game already. It's ready to scrape. And the first thing I'm going to do is scrape. So, let's go down to this and scrape. So, now we are ready to just go here. We're going to drag this into the mix art. Boom. And we're going to come back here and we're going to do the same thing with Snap. Okay? Put him over into Snap. All right. Um, now, do the same thing with the game. One thing about dragging and dropping games that are in zip or compressed format do not drag and drop when you're hovering over the top of a game. See how it says plus copy right there? And now it says copy to mm. SNES. You want to see copy to SNES, not copy, okay? That way you're not accidentally stuffing this game into another game's folder, okay? So, boom, that's in there now. Sweet. Now, here's the thing. The game list. You do not drag the game list over into here, okay? Because what that will do is it will give you an opportunity to accidentally overwrite the game list that's on the build, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to open this up using Notepad++. And here we have it. All right. Now, a little bit about this whole game list thing, right? The information that we are after is the stuff between game and game, okay? Not this and not this up here, okay? We could care less about this stuff, okay? A little bit more about the game list. Every single one of these headers these tags, I don't know what they're officially called, but anyways, they start off with the name and then they end with a slash and then the name. So for example, game and then slash game, genre, slash genre, 
right? Video at the end of video slash video. Okay, so those are kind of like your bookends. Okay, so we're just going to grab everything in this zone right here and we're just going to copy it. Now, usually what I will do before I copy this stuff, I'll make any changes that I want to the format of the data that's in this little highlighted section. So for example, I don't want this game saying the adventures of Dr. Franken. I kill that. That way I don't have to go to the the area in the emulation station to find the one game I'm after if, it, if I can just go to Adventures of Dr. Franken. So I usually kill that away right there. Boom. Sweet. Now I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to hit Control C on the keyboard. That is copy. So what that did is it copied everything to my clipboard. Now I close this out. Okay. Closed it out. Now, I will go over here into this network drive, which is the, the Pi, and I'm going to open this up. You know, you don't have to close the first file before you open up the second one, but I do that as a general practice. That way you're not accidentally copying and pasting wrong information to the wrong spot. You know what I mean. Anyways, okay, so again, now that this stuff is here, um, oops, and I've already done this. Get rid of that for this. Okay, so this is the way the game list will look. Okay, what I do is I start right there, and I hit enter three times. Boop, boop, boop. What that did is it gave me a little spot. Now this is my little way of working, so that when I'm adding games, let's pretend for a minute I'm adding 40 games, and. The whole game list, right? There's no spaces in between the, this game and then the next game. So when I put these three spaces in there and I hit Control V to paste that last stuff that I copied, it puts a little break in there. So that way, when I'm scrolling through all these things and I come upon a break, I know, okay, so that's the end of all these new additions that I just put on there. So let's say I just got done scraping a bunch of uh, JRPG translations and put them on there. And then I'm going through the thing and making the changes and edits that I want. Uh, when I get to that break, it's just like my double check, like, okay, yeah, this is, this is the last game that's in there. So that's why I do that. Okay, so this is all in there. Now I'm going to save this thing. Now check this out. In Notepad++, if you have changed anything in this file, this will turn red. Okay, that lets you know that a change has been made and has not yet been saved. So now when I hit Control-S, boom turns blue you're good to go so now I can close this thing okay so now I have taken the information in here safely plunked it into this one I've taken the game and safely plunked it into here we'll double check make sure that that's in there boom ventures of Decker Franken it's all there okay so Etc. Etc. So now here's what you do. Okay, now you go to the Raspberry Pi, and you hit Start on your controller. You go to Quit, and then you select Restart Emulation Station. What this will do is it will repopulate all the information in the game list so that your new edition will show up happily on the build, and that's all you do. All right. See you later, dudes.